Hi, it's Megan. I have three of the new Bite Amuse Bouche uh, lipsticks. So, Bite has reformulated their lipsticks and they are getting rid of the old to bring in the new. And they have 34 colors. Um, called a mousse, a mousse bouche and they're $26 as opposed to $24 so they've upped the price point a little bit and um, let's see what else should I say about them high impact lipsticks in dimensional shades that have been handcrafted which is kind of cool to deliver extreme moisture uh, soft texture and creamy wear so they say crafted and cr created and crafted by hand I'm repeating that again a small batch, low heat process preserves a balanced blend of lip quenching nutrients, vitamins, and omega oils that are essential for achieving healthy looking lips. They're made with 12 edible oils and triple milled pigments. This lipstick provides saturated lip color with weightless coverage and a citrus flavor made from fresh pressed fruit. So, Bite uses shades coloring that are using a uh, I'm re trying to read and, and restate at the same time. They say created with natural and food grade ingredients for beauty that's better for you. And they don't contain petrochemicals and are certified gluten free. So there are, there's like a whole bunch of stuff in there. So first of all, Bite is using more natural coloring, which I think is kind of cool. And you know, fruit based and whatever else. They are not an all natural brand. And last year, 2015, I spent some time trying out some all-natural brands and um, putting the video reviews up on YouTube and what I found unfortunately was that the 100% natural brands didn't have 100% amazing products sometimes and so I'm now more um, I don't know I'm, I'm happy with more natural ingredients but I'm also a little bit more I don't know chastised and open to the idea of mixing natural with just the right amount of uh, other product, uh, other ingredients so that the product is actually gorgeous and that's what Bite has done with the three lipsticks that I have here and I will show you that in a minute. So I have the new pepper, there was an old pepper, then there's a new pepper, uh, then I have, they're carrying over a few of the shades but a lot of the shades are totally new. They have gazpacho and they have beetroot and I went to the Sephora site because that's where you get these. I got these as part of an influencer, influencer um, box. So I did not pay for these. These were given free for review purposes, but I like them so much. I went to the Sephora site and I was going to buy a few more colors, um, but right now they say they're for VIB Rouge only, but they're all out of stock. They're not actually for sale yet, but they're up, so I'm sure any time now. Um, and so let's go through the different things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you what I think of the lipstick, then I'm going to do my new thing, which is take off what I have and apply a new one on camera on completely bare lips and describe the individual shade as I apply it. And I've for a long time been applying it on my lips on camera just because I have very pigmented lips and sometimes what it looks like on me is just not going to be what it looks like on other people because depending on how opaque it is, well, the natural lip color has a huge impact and that can actually be a good thing because somehow it's obviously going to look more natural um, if it's picking up some of your own natural coloring. So, what do I think of the formula? First of all, I've always liked Bite lipsticks, um, but, you know, they bled on me sometimes and I also felt like the formula wasn't consistent and um, it, uh, it was the colors were really beautiful but I had to be really careful with which ones I chose so some of them would end up being a little sheer and the problem that I have with sheer lipsticks is that my top lip which you can see is very defined with this lipstick um, my top lip for some reason with some of the sheers just totally disappears which is kind of a weird thing um, it's like it just isn't there anymore and so I had that problem with the old pepper the new pepper however which we will get to do not have that problem at all. Um, it works beautifully and um, I really like it a lot. So when I tried these on, first of all I thought they were like a combination of a bunch of different lipsticks. My first impression was, wow, these are so much like the NARS Audacious lipsticks with a shine. And so if you don't know the NARS Audacious, 
there's like a pull, a slight pull when you put them on and they feel just rich and creamy. Um, and you get this amazing coverage and this really pigmented look. And so two of these are very bright colors. I've got Gaspacho on and uh, also Beetroot. And they are these full rich colors, very pigmented. You can kind of get the concept of the fruit coloring when you look at them. And Pepper is a more muted nude, but again, you get this kind of richly pigmented nude thing. Um, although it's a little bit more sheer than the other two. The next thing I thought, so audacious, creamy, beautiful coverage, great, um, great pigmentation, but with a shine. The next thing I thought was, wow, these were like the uh, custom higher end bite formula, which is $36, and it's the formula that bite used for their shade of the month last year in 2015. These really reminded me of those so much just in the way they applied, the way the formula looked, the way it felt on the lip and so I went back to mine and I tried them on and I compared and with those again with these there's a little bit it's not that they're inconsistent in formula but Bite has sometimes had a few shades that were a little bit more sheer than others so it was month number five in the the month, you know, color of the month in 2015, which was like a lavender, and then I always felt like pepper was more sheer. So again, here pepper's a little bit lighter, more sheer than the other two, but much more consistent and less sheer than the pepper of the old formula. Um, so it really reminded me of that, which I thought was a smart move on Bites Park, because that was a great formula, in my opinion. Um, and then. And when people, when they did the color of the month, a lot of people said, well, I would love to do this, but with less bright colors. So now you have 34 colors to choose from, some of them are less bright. And the last thing that it reminded me, the last formula, was um, the Christian Louboutin, actually. The Louboutin, uh, the regular satin formula, not the sheer or the matte, um, because it has a really beautiful sheen, but then what really struck me about the Louboutin, beside the fact that it has a light look on, even though it's not um, sheer, just really light, pigmented, gorgeous, and I do owe you that video, I will get that up. Um, it also, the, the lipsticks have this opulent, rich, buttery texture to them, which I haven't felt with any others. The closest is this Bite Amuse Bouche, which I thought was... I don't know, it's not a bad thing to be compared to a $90 high quality lipstick. So that's what I think of the overall formula. Obviously you can tell that I do, I really do like it. I felt like I had almost no bleeding at all. I had a little bit with beetroot, a tiny, tiny bit. Um, and just look at how beautiful it is on. So super pigmented, uh, that rich creamy formula that you get with something like the Nars Audacious or the Christian Louboutin, but a sheen. And I felt like all of these three, and I've only tried three out of 34, were consistently um, really beautiful. And they wear, Pepper wore about an hour and a half on me, which is long for a slightly sheer nude. And then the other two lasted about two and a half hours. And thankfully no bleeding, no bunching up in my lips, no like, you know, that whole... And the other thing with the two darker ones, I blotted them and I had read on another blog that that made them look matte. It does not make them look matte on me. Maybe on her, but not on me. But what it does do is it creates this amazing, beautiful, like, stain look. So I'm just going to do that right now. It is a little bit more matte, but it's definitely not matte. You can see it creates this really beautiful stain. And the two darker shades did stain a little bit. So when I, I'm going to shut the camera off and I'm going to put a little foundation on so that pepper's not so red. I didn't want to start, I thought about starting with pepper, but I wanted to start with the red. So there we go. So I will make sure that we can see pepper accurately in just one second. And I will apply, apply them on one at a time. Okay, so I've zoomed in a little closer so you can actually see me apply it. And the red hadn't stained enough that it made a huge difference in my lip color. So I have a little tiny like, touch of foundation over it, but you don't need it. So this is Pepper. And again, it's got the cute little bite packaging. And it was a cream deluxe formula. That's the one that they used for the, I don't know, I don't remember what they called it, but the 12 shades of the year. So 
So it has a rich, creamy, opulent feel when you apply it. And so let's swatch it. So you can see, I don't know, the swatches just really remind me, like I said, of the Audacious. Just that pigmented creaminess, but with a shine. And I actually, my fingerprints don't show. This is a rare black packaging that my fingerprints don't show on, which makes me feel, I don't know, just so much more sophisticated, less like a, a rube. And so, of course, now my pepper. This is the old one. I had the mini. So I'm going to put this next to it, and you'll see there's a huge difference. So this is the old, and this is the new. And it has a bigger difference on my lips. I really didn't apply that evenly, did I? Oh, well. That happens, especially when you have a camera focus on you. Somehow, it happens more often when you have a camera. So, what I said about pepper is I said it's less glossy, but still glossy than the original. And it's more opaque, you know, obviously. Um, it doesn't bleed, it's just when you can't apply it properly that it does that. Um, and I felt like it has less peach, more brown. And it's not a brown shade, it's definitely a nude with a slight pinky peach thing, but it's definitely a deeper, richer, more beautiful nude. And so Pepper was a hard one for me. It washed me out a little bit and it did make my top lip um, disappear, although I like the color. Uh, it was one of their classics. I think this is just a much better version of Pepper. I really like it. It's not quite one of my favorite nudes yet because I had two nudes that I just adored recently, but it's rapidly becoming one of them. It might end up being one. So let's go to the next one. Okay, now I'm going to do beetroot, and uh, I would love to hear comments from people as far as like the closeness of the camera because I'm still working with that and perfecting it so I can show the lipstick but not look kind of freaky weird. Um, so this is what it looks like. I can't help it, I just always rub my lips together. Just a bad habit. Again, not perfect application. I'm just on a roll today. Um, I forgot to mention the orange in detail. I think I mentioned the orange, but I didn't give you the detail on it. When I first tried these on, the orange was so not astringent, but striking that I almost thought it was peppermint. And then I was like, no, it's orange. Um, it has a slight sweet taste. I don't know, you remember those Bite Honey Glosses? That always had a slight sweet taste too. This has a slight, very slight sweet taste to it. Um, and the orange is more like, if you think of the peppermint with that astringent, strong, not harshness exactly, but almost, it's that kind of orange as opposed to like a sweet, fruity, well it's fruity, like a super sweet candy fruity kind of uh, orange. So if that turns you off or if you don't like citrus, you know, the citrus stuff does have vitamin C, which is good for your lips. Uh, gently exfoliates, natural AHAs and all that. Um, if you like that and it doesn't irritate you. I actually, once I put these on, I smell it and like I feel a little tingle when I first put it on. But then it's gone. Okay, so this shade, uh, this one I'm going to blot too because this is the one that I love the most when I just blot it. I just, I think it's so pretty. So I said beetroot. Uh, it is a deep berry. It's a balance of pink and purple, but it also definitely has a red feel to it. And uh, it's so pretty. It's a new shade. My uh, Kleenex is all... I've been playing with lipstick all day, so my Kleenex is all just... Ugh. Oh, look at that. That's so slick. I love when I do stuff like that. Look at how pretty it is when you blot it. It's so gorgeous. Um, okay, obviously I like this one. I actually like the next one the best, but I was happy with these shades. So we're going to do gazpacho. Okay, next we have gazpacho, and I'm only a little vampirish. I try to cover it up with uh, foundation, but it's hard to get these reds and berries gone. So here we have gazpacho. And I'm going to swatch, I forgot to swatch beetroot, I just realized. I'm going to swatch that too. But let's, there's gazpacho. You 
You know what's so annoying? When I apply it without my little little cute handheld mirror to make it apply, you know, to make give me a tool to make me apply better, it applies much better than when I try to actually like, up up my game and bring a little handheld mirror in. Um, it's kind of disappointing in me. So this is the Spacho. And we're going to swatch. Look at the pigmentation on these two. So gorgeous. And that's really what Bite's always done best anyway, right? There's just this amazing, rich pigmentation. And uh, look at how pretty they are. So beetroot and gazpacho. So gazpacho, I wrote, is a cool, slightly cool, barely cool red. Um, it has a touch of kind of a blue base. It's a classic red. And when I, I whenever I have a red, uh, I sit there and I compare it to a whole bunch of other reds because I always have a hard time discerning whether it's like pink or whatever. And so when I compare this to a whole bunch of other reds, I saw that there's a slight pinkiness to it, just a touch, and then just a slight blue base. So that makes it slightly cool tone, although on, every time I look at it, and again, I'm looking at the camera here, I always feel like it's a little bit warmer toned on me. Maybe it's picking up my natural lip color somehow, um, even though it seems fully opaque. So how would I describe these? I would say they're super pigmented. Um, they are very creamy and have this rich natural buttery feel to them um, but they're still not heavy and bites gotten rid of the bleeding problem which is huge they do have that slight orange scent and I think it's really what bite does best just that amazing beautiful color that if you like the brand you totally get what I'm talking about anyway that's all I have to say about it these are at Sephora although they're not quite yet available, but soon, I'm sure any day now they will be available. And there are 34 colors, $36, no, $26. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe on YouTube. It helps me a lot. And um, also that little like button. But if you have any of these, I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, thanks for watching.